Hello and welcome to Storytime in Art. Today's story is called The Berenstain Bears, The Big Honey Hunt by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Oh no, we ate our honey. We ate a lot. There's no more honey in our honey pot said Mama Bear. Go get some honey. Go get some more. Go get some honey from the honey store. We will go for honey. Come on, small bear. We will go for honey and I know where. The store, she said to get it there. Oh no, not the store, small bear. If a bear is smart, if a bear knows how, he goes on a honey hunt. Watch me now. How do you hunt it? How, Dad, how? If a bear knows how, if a bear is smart, he looks for a bee right at the start. Bees hide their honey in trees that are hollow, so we will find a bee to follow. Is that a bee? He went buzz buzz. He looks like a bee. Why, yes, he does. We will follow that bee. We will follow that bee. We will follow that bee to his honey tree. That tree? Is that a honey tree? It looks like one. So I know it's one. Sit down, small bear, and watch the fun. Small bear, you watch your smart old dad. Take out more honey than you ever had. Are you getting honey? Are you getting a lot? Will we take home honey in our honey pot? That is not a honey bee. That was not a honey tree. The bee, the bee, I see the bee. On with the honey hunt, follow your pup. Your pup will find honey at the very next stop. We will follow and follow and follow along. I will find a new tree and I won't be wrong. Is that a honey tree? How do you know? Well, it looks just so and it feels just so. Looks so, feels so, so it's so. Now watch, small bear, I am about to take that good old honey out. How are you doing? Are you getting a lot? Are you getting much honey or are you not? Wrong kind of tree, wrong kind of tree. The bee, the bee, there goes the bee. On with the honey hunt. I will not rest. I will follow that bee to its honey nest. When a bear is smart, when a bear is clever, he never gives up and I won't ever. Dad, is that a bee tree there? I know it is. Why, yes, small bear. It can't be wrong like the last tree was. Only a bee tree goes buzz buzz. Are you getting honey? Are you doing well? Or is something wrong? I smell a smell. Wrong kind of tree, wrong kind of tree. The bee, the bee, I see the bee. If you want to get honey, there is just one way. You must follow your bee if it takes all day. If a bear is smart, if a bear is bright, a bear keeps going if it goes all night. The bee, the bee, it went in that tree. Now let me think, now let me see. This looks just like a honey tree. And it feels just like a honey tree. And it goes buzz buzz like a honey tree. And it tastes just like a honey tree. And so you see this tree must be, must, must, must be a honey tree. I never saw more honey, never. Now, don't you think your dad is clever? You are very...
very clever, Dad, and I am glad. But your friends the bees look very mad. But, Dad, you left the honey there. It was not the kind I want, small bear. I will get you honey. I said I would, but that bee's honey was not too good. Where are you going to find the honey? Here in the water? Now, that seems funny. No, we won't find honey in here, small bear. But soon, very soon, I will show you where. When the bees have gone, we will get along too. Your dad is smart. He knows what to do. But how will you do it, Dad? How, Dad, how? The best sort of honey never comes from bees. It comes from the store. I would like some, please. Look at Mama Bear. <laughs> the end. Well, we're going to head over to the art table and make a honeycomb. Let's go, everyone. Okay, so here we are at the art table and we're going to make a honeycomb. I'm using a paper toilet, a toilet paper tube, just a paper tube. I'm going to flatten it with my fingers like this. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut it into some little pieces. It's hard to cut cardboard, so you might have to get a grown up to help you with this part. Okay, so I cut the toilet tube into some little pieces like this. Remember, we flattened the toilet tube, so we're going to unflatten those pieces to make them look more like circles again. All right, now you'll need a background piece of paper, and I chose yellow just because it looks the color of honey, so I just decided to do that. If you have a glue stick, you can use the glue stick and you can just rub the bottom of this circle with glue stick and then stick it on that way. Or here's another idea. You can take some glue and squeeze it in a little container, a little dish, and then you can dip the toilet tube into the glue like that and then you can stick it down. So we're just gonna dip it and stick it. Okay. All right, so there's one more thing to do. You can draw a V if you'd like to, and I'll show you how. So I'm just going to make a raindrop shape. And then I'm going to make some lines. I'll color in the tip, that's the stinger on the bee. Then I'm going to make a wing, which is just another raindrop shape. And then I'll make an eye and a little smile. And if you'd like to, you can come through and just color. I think I'll just use my crayon and just color every other stripe so that you have black and yellow, black and yellow like that. I think I'm gonna do one more thing. I want to just put two antenna right here. So there you have it. We made a little honeycomb. I hope you had some fun today at Storytime and Art. I'll see you next time. If you'd like to add more, get another toilet paper tube and you could add some more parts to your honeycomb if you would rather. See you next time.